Focus, it is going to be a big day in the Supreme Court today, four years after the centre removed Article 370 that granted special status to Jammu and Kashmir. The court is set to begin daily hearings from 10.30 a.m. today on a batch of petitions. The petitions have challenged the constitutional validity of the 2019 abrogation. A five-judge constitution bench headed by the Chief Justice D.Y. Chandra Chud will conduct daily hearings on this matter. Now, in the previous hearing, the centre had defended its decision to remove the state's special provision as it submitted fresh affidavit detailing the progress and peacework post-2019. The centre termed the abrogation as historic that has brought unprecedented development, progress, security and stability to the region which was often missing during the old Article 370 regime. Now, meanwhile, uh, even ahead of the hearing, politics has already begun. The National Conference and other co opposition parties have called the abrogation unconstitutional and illegal. The BJP, meanwhile, has hit out against the state's leadership, saying that the leaders are just looking after themselves and not the people. Listen in. 5 lakh Kashmiri Hindus have Kashmir from Kashmir, and they will say that this is the BJP group. So, when the vote comes to vote, they are also behind them. The fact is that the people of Kashmir, who have been working on the 370 of the BJP, अगर 370 हटने के बाद उनको कोई पूछने लगा है तो स्वाभाविक बात है वो अपनी बात क्यों नहीं रखेंगे सुप्रीम कोर्ट को भी इसका संज्ञान लेना चाहिए और बाकी जो जो फारुक अब्दुल्ला या दूसरे लोग हैं ये तो अपनी दुकानदारी चला रहे थे जो कि इन्हीं के माध्यम समय में कश्मीरी पंडितों को बाहर निकाला गया था वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट विक्ट्रीज इज दैट द ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज डिसाइडेड टू हेयर देयर प्लीज हेयर देयर वोज that what happened in, on 5th August 2019 was unconstitutional and illegal. That is what Supreme Court is today saying that I am hearing the constitutionality of the case, nothing else. 370 has nothing to do with terrorism. And uh, my, these, uh, my dear Kashmiri Pandit brothers who have put this application in, I will remind them again that the Supreme Court of India is hearing the constitutional issues. It is not hearing stories. You must have the constituent assembly. That's not now in place. You must have assembly. And there are certain mechanisms established by law. I'm not asking that you go to this person or that person, to this group or that group. I'm asking people are representing People have representatives in the forum of assembly, the parliament, and other institutions. But as far as Jammu and Kashmir is concerned, you are downgrading the state, historic state. You are dividing it in absence of the will of the local people. That is unfortunate. My colleague Harish is joining me on the phone line. Harish, it is going to be a big day, a significant one in the Supreme Court today because four years after the centre removed Article 370 that granted special status to Jammu and Kashmir, the court is set to begin daily hearings from 10.30am today on a batch of petitions. Give us details. Yes, that's right. Uh, this uh, comes uh, four years, uh, almost exactly four years after uh, Article 370 was abrogated and uh, Three years after the last hearing, the Supreme Court fighters bench led by Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachur, is all set to resume hearing a batch of 22 petitions. Most of them activists uh, from Jammu Kashmir with, uh, and with, they have challenged the abrogation of Article 370 that granted special status to the state of Jammu and Kashmir, especially pertaining to autonomy. Some pleas have also challenged the bifurcation of the state into two unit territories, that is Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. Uh, also packed along with it is a petition that sought a direction to the election commission to hold elections in the state. And uh, the key arguments of the petitioners are that uh, they term the presidential order as an illegal and unconstitutional 
they contain the amendment of the constitution provision article 367 which resulted in the scrapping of article 370 could have been done only by the parliament and not through presidential order that is an executive order they also argue concurrence of the state assembly which reflects the will of the people was required before such uh, sweeping changes altering the history and geography of the state are made and uh, stand of the center was that uh, it center maintains that continuance of the temporary provision uh, article 370 even after the dissolution of state constituent assembly and its constitution which has never got the assent of the president parliament or government of india amounts to fraud on the basic structure of our constitution and was against sovereignty integrity and unity of the nation and the provision did not allow uh, the proper integration of jammu and kashmir with india and that had to go and even recently center filed an additional affidavit to where it uh, said uh, compared the pre uh, 370 uh, abrogation and post 370 abrogation era and said that the move to scrap article 370 in august 2019 has led to an unprecedented era of peace in jammu and kashmir and ladakh and wanted to draw the attention of the court to it he said uh, the affidavit said jammu and kashmir was facing the brunt of terrorism for the last three decades to curb it the only way was to remove article 370 people in the region are now accustomed to the changes peace right. prosperity and stability and there is a drastic right. improvement in the security situation in the region so we let wait and watch uh, uh, when the uh, what the uh, key right. opening observation of the bench will be when Absolutely, Harish. All eyes uh, are going to be on the Supreme Court's observation on uh, the hearing that begin from today. There is going to be daily hearing on uh, this uh, particular matter. We leave it at that and uh, shift our focus.